Hi, I'm Ashwin. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to share you the roadmap of becoming a game developer. So game development is most craziest field where like, I mean, playing games is completely different than developing games. So have you ever thought while playing games, like how one can actually develop um, such kind of games? So like PUBG and all those things. So do you think it is as much easy as playing? No, it absolutely not because it involves a complex process. And if you want to become a game developer, like I'm going to share you some uh, tips and roadmap. So you can follow these tips in order to start learning game development from, uh, from scratch. And after the end of this video, you will get some knowledge that will be helpful for you to start learning game development from scratch. So the first step in game development is programming. So yeah, it, it belongs to uh, coding again, like because if you're so not if you're someone not from coding background then it is a hard task for you so try to learn coding first so out of all the programming languages most of the game developers use two programming languages in general the first one is c plus plus and the second one is c sharp so out of these two c sharp is gaining its popularity in the area of game development so i advise you to learn c sharp initially so if you are already a one i mean a person with good knowledge on java or C++ then it is easy for you to learn C sharp and C sharp like it the advantages that you will get all uh, for I mean after learning C sharp is like it's completely Microsoft product oriented so you will get you will get to know uh, you will get to you know access the all features of Visual Studio and all those things with the help of C sharp so this is the important step so you need to know the C sharp programming language so once after you're good in C sharp the second step is uh, try to download a game engine so there are many game engines out there but the popular game engine and the easiest game engine is unity where most of the developers almost every developer uh, every game developer uses is unity uh, to learn game development so try to download the unity uh, 2d game engine so i have provided the links in the description you can check it out later so if you have downloaded that unity game engine so try to explore the game engine first because it also comes with a free trial that is an advantage so so in in those in that free version you you can you can access all the features you can explore like what all the different features present in there how how to um, play with different objects so you will get to know all those things and you will get unity tutorials all over the youtube and all over the internet for free you don't need to spend money for that so once after you explore Unity game engine, so if you know like what actually it looks like and what all the different things that are present in the game engine, the third step is try building a basic game. So you don't need to build an advanced level video game, but try to build a basic game like Tetris. Tetris is one such game where most of the beginner, I mean beginner game developers, um, I mean start with. So Tetris, you will get to know various basic things while uh, playing with Tetris. So there are various tutorials out there. So I will also add the link in the description. So try to build this Tetris game. So once you build that, you will get to know various features. You will get to know how to use Unity 2D engine very smartly. So once after you build a basic game, then the fourth step is mathematics again. So you need to know linear algebra because while going to advanced stages, so you need to uh, I mean, you need to map different objects. You need to create some characters out there. You need to play them according to the story of the game. There are various things. So mathematics is the essential part. And in that mathematics, you need linear algebra knowledge. So try to learn linear algebra. If you already know linear algebra, that's great. And you can you can start that. So yeah, once this is the fourth step. And the fifth step is, uh, so you, are, you know now how to, how to how to uh, I mean access the game engine of Unity, and the next part is design patterns. So I already told you, if if you are if you are willing to design a video game, you need multiple characters in that game, and you need a story. You need to map those characters according to the story. You need to take care of lighting. You need to take care of animations. You need to take care of various things out there. So you must have to know design patterns. So without design patterns, a game developer is not a game developer. So whatever the programming language that you know. So in this case, C sharp, I suggest C sharp to start with. So try to learn design patterns and also try to learn how to code design patterns in C sharp. So this is the thing, this is the fourth step. So this is the fifth step. So fourth step is a mathematics thing. So on the sixth step is 
you you should be familiar with graphics so you i mean try to learn graphic designing from like adobe photoshop and all those things because in game you need to create characters you need to create some graphics right so for that reason you need to have a knowledge on graphic designing so try to play with adobe so adobe photoshop adobe illustration so there are various apps out there where you can actually create some animations create some characters um, try to also learn after effects and premiere pro of adobe version so once you get adobe cc so adobe cc is adobe creative cloud which contains all these apps that i have mentioned now so just try to play with that if you are good in graphic designing then it is easy for you to become a pro developer and once after you are good with graphic designing you also need um, i mean this 3d animations and visual effects so for that i advise people to learn um, there are various softwares out there like maya where you can do all these vfx and various things and if you if you learn this you can also um i mean you can also learn cinematography automatically with the help of this so once you are good with all those things then now start with designing some complex games because now you know how to design basic games you know design patterns you know how to create different characters out there so you also know uh, i mean graphic designing vfx and all those things then it is easy for you to build a i mean complex game so one more thing in general if you see the games advanced games like pubg and all those things they were sponsored by some rich companies so that is the reason why they develop with uh, i mean they develop such complex games and such beautiful games but in general if you're developing a game as an individual so you need to spend a lot in order to create that game so it is not possible for an individual to create games like them so because in general they were they were supported by rich companies they were sponsored by rich companies that is the reason why they developed so don't try to build a huge games in the beginning try to build small games whatever the things that you have try to use them try to utilize them and build a build a game so yeah it is how one can actually learn uh, i mean game development and once you are good with all these things then you are ready to become a web i mean game developer so try to build at least one or two games and add them in your portfolio and expose them with the recruiters then like you know how to design a basic things so like if they like the way that you design a particular game then they will hire you as a game developer then you will get a chance to design complex games and beautiful games like pubg yeah it's all about how one can actually learn game development thank you for watching this video if you really like this please like and share this in your network and also if you are a new visitor to my channel please subscribe to my channel thank you